Today we're going around to all the Baku employees and asking them what you should consider when purchasing a Baku e-bike, but wrong answers only. What would you tell one of our customers who is considering an e-bike, but wrong answers only? I would say you have to consider the type of rubber that they're using for the tubes. I mean, there's so many different types of rubber, from heavy duty to non-heavy duty. I mean, what? don't underestimate the power of what rubber is being used for the tubes. Sometimes I'll start a sentence and I don't even know where it's going. What would you tell one of our customers who's considering an e-bike? Wrong answers only. I don't know. I can't think. Oh, how am I supposed to know? <laughs> Alright, Travis. Yes. What would you tell one of our customers who is considering an e-bike, but wrong answers only? Uh, uh, components don't matter. It's just price. So find, like, the cheapest one that you can get. Doesn't matter what's on it, as long as it has wheels and a battery and a motor. 500 bucks, boom, that's a solid e-bike. $31 would be better. It seems a little pricey. A basket, a bell, and some tassels. Well, what are you waiting for? Um, I don't know. Hold on. Get that out of the <laughs> You don't need to upgrade your battery. Nope, we want small batteries. Batteries are dead. It's worst answer. Um, probably make sure it has like sparkly pink paint. Sparkly pink paint? I want a sparkly pink paint. Pink painted bike. Pink. Pink! <laughs> uh, probably no power on the bike. Just pretty much just a heavy pedal bike. No motor power. What's important? Pinstripes or flames on the bike frame. That's important. Flames for flames. Which bike can they use to outrun the cops the fastest? Just kidding. <laughs> to refresh, this is wrong answers only. Wrong answer, McFly! So if you have any questions about what you really should be looking for when purchasing an e-bike, go ahead and give us a call.